Hi guys, Craig here from APC Physio. Just put another quick one there in relation to some strength tests you can do for yourself at home and one we do here in the clinic to see if people already go back running. As well as that, it gives us an indication as well if there is a potential cause for what's maybe causing your injury while you're running or those little niggles and aches. Perhaps it's a stiff calf or a tight glute. It just gives us a little bit of a window of information that we may be able to delve into a little bit more. And that's a simple one called a single leg heel raise or calf raise, okay? So what we're looking for here, all right, is a firm pressure up against the wall, not clawing at the ground trying to use it to push up, but you're just using it for balance. You can go fingers if you wish, just enough that you're not gonna fall over. Mark the height, keeping the legs straight, go up on two toes first. You're going up to that height. Mark that distance off, ideally, and remember in your head how high you want to go. Then you're gonna shift onto one leg. So I'm going to go right side first. What we're looking for is a nice straight line from your head to your heel. Okay, left leg then comes up that 90 degree and your toe is tucked slightly up. What we're looking to do is push the ground away, head up towards the ceiling. And you're looking to push up nice and control on the way down. Keep that leg nice and straight and then you compare, get to a point of fatigue, compare that to the opposite side. Same position. Nice, head to heel, strong as steel. Push the ground away, head up towards the sky. Nice straight line. Movement only occurring at the ankle. It's not generating from the hip. You're not springing up and down. And you're not trying to hike at your hip either. So nice and straight line, push up and down. For someone my age, and there are different ranges for an ideal figure to hit or an indication of a figure to hit, I should be hitting around the 32 mark before fatiguing. As I said, there are differences depending on age and gender. All right, but with that, what you're looking for more so is a discrepancy between sides. Okay, so if you're getting, say I got 32 on my right, but I got 24 on my left. That gives me an indication that my left isn't up to scratch and that we need to do a little bit of work there, or at least delve into why that is, what's going on, and what could that potentially cause further down the line. So this is a quick one to try at home. Give it a go, see is there any difference, see what you can do about it. All right, if you're unsure, get in contact with us here, inquire about a free consultation, and in the end, move well, feel well, be well.